Hello everyone, this is an alcohol review of Brindley Gold Shipwreck Spiced Rum. According to the label, it's from St. Kitts of the West Indies, aged for years, 72 proof, also known as 36 alcohol by volume. It says, age to perfection, Shipwreck Spiced Rum is masterfully blended to match the old rums enjoyed on the high seas long ago. Family. I do like the wooden top and cork. Something you don't see that much anymore. Some time ago there was a disease that struck the cork trees, sickened quite a few of them, thus cork became quite the commodity. Many winemakers and those who use cork went on to use plastics and other materials. So it's nice to see cork coming back, at least here and air. But, it is a deep caramel color, due to caramel coloring. Who knows what exactly it looked like to begin with. But it's pretty. Sticks. Strong out of glass. Wow, that's odd. Usually it tears down. This stuff literally just drops. It stays and falls. Very strange. Ah, oh, smells wonderful. Smells caramelly. Hints of lemon, hints of orange. Brown sugar. Lots of vanilla. Lots of vanilla. Smells wonderful. It has a young, youthful alcohol burn to it, but not a bite, which is strange. The bottle claims aged four years. And emphasize it with a red four on it. Maybe you can see that, but you know, you think that would take out that bite or that burn, but the bite's gone. If there was one, lots of vanilla, caramel. Fruit notes, orange, not so much lemon. Oh, very tasty. You always get that alcohol burn. It's a nice constant through, but not overwhelming. Because the, the caramel comes through and the vanilla comes through equally well. It's a little heavy <clears throat> right now. Um, so, by the taping of this video, we are in middle of summer. It is hot as can be. This was only given a little bit of water, just to help bring out the notes of it, much like you would do with a whiskey. And it is um, room temperature as per air conditioning in a house. So, you could call it lightly cool at best. So with that in mind, it's a little heavy on the palate. I would have to say, God, this just, it gets better and better with every sip. That alcohol burn kind of fades away off the palate, leaving you with the rest of all those wonderful flavors. I usually don't rave so much about a rum. I mean, some of my favorites don't even taste quite this good. This, this just might become my new favorite. But anyway, uh, I would have to say this is a little too heavy on the palate for uh, summertime, but would do very well with um, late fall, early spring. It might be a little too light for midwinter. Uh, like I said, it's heavy, but not too heavy. 
Try and you'll, you'll see what I mean. It's quite tasty. Many rums you cut with a uh, Coca-Cola, well, a, a soda pop of some sort. And this this actually sound, stands very well on its own. Write down any reviews or any thoughts you may have about this product down below. Or better yet, go out, buy this product, try it yourself. Make a review yourself, let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts on this. Brian Lee Shipwreck Spiced Rum. Let us know your thoughts. And like I said, this, this just might end up becoming my new favorite. Uh, the price is right, at least around here, when compared to other rums. Quite economical in comparison to many of the other ones on the shelf. So there you go. So, anything down below, try it yourself, see what you think. Don't take my word for it, try it yourself. And until next time, keep on drinking.